The leaders and titans of industry, art, sports, science are reaching out and want to find ways to help. I mean, today, as an example, in my office, the great Jim Brown, Kanye, that's right. Right, I like Kanye. Ray Lewis. We've had so many people, they come up and they want to be a part of what we're doing. It's still weird to hear Donald Trump name drop Yeezy. It really is. Uh, Donald Trump, though, in Wisconsin last night, touting his meetings Tuesday with many influential African-Americans, football legends, Ray Lewis, Jim Brown, as he said there. Um, they said they want to work with Trump in rebuilding urban neighborhoods specifically. I'm joined now for more on these meetings by uh, Bruce Lavelle, executive director of the National Diversity uh, Diversity Coalition for Donald Trump. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming Mayor. on, Bruce. Merry Christmas, Craig. Merry great, Christmas. Great to be back. So, great to be back. Ray Lewis, Jim Brown, Kanye West. This is what they said after the meeting. What we believe with the Trump administration is if we can combine the, these two powers of coming together, forget black or white. Black or white is irrelevant. The bottom line is job creation, economic development in these urban neighborhoods to change the whole scheme of what, of what our kids see for, for our next future. And so, Bruce, you've been in a number of, of, of these meetings. Um, right. what, what goes on in these meetings? Walk us through how they work, how long do they last, and, and are any specific promises made? Well, first of all, I heard you say what goes on behind the, the doors, whatever, but what goes in public, obviously, is, you know, what we do in the meetings, et cetera, Craig. There's no real secrets about it. This has been an ongoing uh, communication dialogue with all different diverse groups of ethnic backgrounds from all over the country from day one since last year. But with this particular meeting, I have to say I was very excited uh, to see that the very folks who historically didn't vote for Donald Trump in the campaign or during the election time are actually being a, uh, reaching out and saying, hey, what can we do to help? And, you know, President-elect Trump has proven that he He's the, he is the president of all people, and he's concerned about all communities, all backgrounds, wherever you're from, even the ones who talk really ugly about him. He's, he's reached back to them and say, hey, come on, let's, let's, let's get this thing going here. Let's get I, America rolling. I saw so you, it's very, very exciting. I saw you in the background of that video clip we just played there from, from yesterday. Were you in the room for the Jim Brown, Ray Lewis meeting or the Kanye meeting? Were you in the room for, for either of those or both of those? Yeah, I was in the meeting with uh, Jim Brown and Ray Lewis. I was sitting to the left of President-elect Trump, and I have to say it was very, very awesome. You know, Jim Brown represents America, I Can, which has been going on since 1988, mentoring ship in a lot of the communities. And President-elect Trump was very, very excited. He was so excited, he, he had another meeting with Bill Gates, kept Bill Gates waiting. It was very, very engaged and very, uh, very understanding and really, really was just totally, totally on board with the the you know the vision of Jim Brown and and trying to help a lot of these communities and it was tremendous. To Craig. be clear, Jim Brown and he said this yesterday. He didn't vote for Donald Trump. He told me in, in Louisville at Muhammad Ali's funeral months right. ago that he wasn't going to vote for Donald Trump, uh, but he did meet with him yesterday. This urban renewal plan that we we keep hearing people talk about. Have you seen it? Do you do you know much about it? Do you know how much he is going well, to ask the Republicans yeah. to spend on it? Well, I'll tell you like this. For example, if you go to uh, Jim Brown's website, America, I can. You know, first of all, Craig, there are there are a lot of uh, organizations out there that are you know doing you know need help and assistance. But what a way for the president-elect Trump to look around of uh, you know institutions that are already in place without trying to reinvent the wheel, but just like, hey guys, you know what can we do in the president-elect or President Trump administration that we could help? you know, enhance a lot of these great initiatives that are already in place, it sounds such like, as America I Can. It sounds like you're saying he doesn't have an urban renewal plan yet, but he's, he's going to be looking at best practices. Is that what you're saying? Oh, absolutely. I mean, what better way? And, you know, another thing, too, Craig, I just want to uh, say one thing on this. I, when I was walking around uh, the 14th floor, I have to say the Trump transition team is absolutely incredible in terms of how organized they are. You would think they've been there for years and years, but for a team that's been put together in a month, is, Bruce, it was incredible. Incredible so. it may be, diverse <laughs> it is not. Take a look at this picture here. This is the top 12 line of, of succession. Um, all of them white men. Not, not a whole lot of folks that look like me or you there, with the exception, of course, of uh, the, the HUD secretary. Um, how is that diversity? 
Well, uh, first of all, I can't see the screen, so respect. Well, you I'm know sorry. that they're all white guys. I mean, you know what's <laughs> no, on the screen. I, no, we, we have women. We have a lot. But l let me just make this clear, though, Craig. You know, President-elect Trump, is, is his whole heart is going after the best talent and trying to do what's best for the American people and putting all ethnic backgrounds in front in terms of who is the best candidate, whether it be male, female, black, white, whatever. This is a, a people. This is America thing. And this is how he's looking at it. He is the president. He's going to be the president for all Americans, no matter what color, whatever. So, you know, putting bits and pieces apart for the cabinet together, you know, it's it, it's going to be really great, though, right. Craig. We're very, very excited. Bruce Lavelle, always good to see you, Bruce. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being with me. Thank you. Thanks and, for having me. And we will be right back.